everybody. Hello. Day nine. Here we go. This is a short one today. Yesterday was a bit bit longer. This one's a short one today. We're just talking to you a little bit about your bio on your Facebook and in your um, PWS as well today. So. So <laughs> I'll, just, yeah, I'll just talk a little bit about your picture and Carly will tell you about what should be included in uh, what you, should you be telling about yourself. Uh, so just quickly, your picture should be you. And that's pretty much it. Um, on your Facebook as well as Facebook profile, as well as Facebook business page, as well as uh, PWS, uh, profile pictures should be you. Uh, mainly you can have your family somewhere around, but people need to know who, to whom they're talking. When they start talking to you, they should see that it's you. So if there is another woman, your friend, your partner, whatever, next to you, they wouldn't know which one is you. So I wouldn't recommend a picture like that. If it's you with your two little children, children, they would probably know it's you and this is your children. So, uh, but yeah, the, the important thing is that they can see you, they can see your face, they can imagine uh, the person behind that profile. Uh, so if you have your dog, uh, if you have a warmer, if you have your children instead of yourself on your profile, please change it. Absolutely. And also as well, um, one of the th things that lots of consultants I've seen do over the years, um, when you've put your place of work on your profile, they put Sensi. Now, if somebody finds you on social media and they go through to your page and they click on that Sensi, it is not going to go to anything to do with you. It is going to go to the main Sensi website. And therefore, you could potentially lose out on maybe someone joining or someone purchasing from you. So we want people to be able to get to you, to see your website, to see your information, all that sort of stuff. So where you put, when you put your where you work, you need to put in your business page for Facebook. So people, business pages for Facebook aren't something... Um, there's something that I would recommend everyone to have. Um, they're not something that I, I've got my own like VIP group and everything, but with the actual business page itself, that means you're searchable on Google. So if someone types in Sensi Consultants and they're looking for someone local to you on Google, they, they can find your Facebook page. So your Facebook business page is a really important thing to have um, and, and have it as personal as possible. But it's something that you should share on your profile page so that someone can click on that and then straight away it goes through to your business rather than Sensi head office somewhere. Also, as well, you can put your website details in there so it can they can click through right through to, the, to your PWS. Another reason why it's so important to have an active, um, an active website. Social media is a massive thing now, guys, which we'll talk to you a little bit about in the coming weeks. But um, people, people like to shop online and we want to make it as easy as possible. You have to make it as easy as possible for them to shop through you. So having that right there on that page is, um, is where it needs to be, basically. Someone can even, someone like one of your friends or someone can even, one of your customers can recommend you to someone else and they just, they can't remember your website or something. So they just say, hey, find her on Facebook. This is her, this is her profile. And that new potential customer will have a look on your profile. And if they see Sensi, that you work at Sensi, they click on it and they automatically go somewhere else. So they will try they will start Googling it probably and they will end up shopping through someone else. Absolutely. If you have your business page there, it will get them to your business page on Facebook and there you have your website link directly or they can message you through your business page. So that's, that's why it is very important. And, and believe me, people, uh, people will be recommending you. First, when, when, I, when someone recommends me someone else, uh, I always go to their profile and I have a look first on their profile. And then through their profile, I'll, I'll do my shopping or whatever. So it is, it is very important. Yeah, absolutely. So first, first task, first assignment, go in and look at your profile picture. Does it need to be changed? Um, is it of your dog? 
change it we need like we have you have your dog on your cover photo there's nothing wrong with that but it, your actual photo like martina says we want to see your face um change those details so who you work for your website address if you haven't got a business page now is the time to have one um so that's your first task also as well we'd like you to have a look on your pws and make sure that there isn't a picture of a warmer instead of a picture of you um when people click on your um sensi website when they click on that website that is the first point sometimes it's the first time they've had anything to do with you so make sure your bio is filled in make sure your picture is as it should be make sure on your join page you've got a little bit of history about you and why you joined and what it's brought to you and we would like you to revamp it if you've done it um done it already if you haven't done it we'd like you to go in there and we would like you to share it with us on the page or in the comments just to keep it all nice and tidy um in the comments below so yeah your your, your facebook profile your business page on Facebook, and then your PWS information. We'd like you to just... So three screenshots, three pictures in the comments below, please. Yes, that would be perfect. Have a beautiful day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.